Now, BIOS is one of those computer terms that you will hear all the time. You'll read all kind of references to it about adjusting the BIOS, about upgrading the BIOS. And in this video entitled Understanding BIOS, I want to give you a visual what the BIOS is, what it does, and then we'll talk about how to configure it in a little separate video. So first of all, let's think about something here. When does your computer actually realize that it's a computer? It's sitting on your desk, it's turned off, it's just a little box of wires and circuit boards and stuff, and we turn the power on. Well, we already realized that the CPU, the central processing unit, or the processor, if you will, is the brain. It's where all the calculation takes place, and it's kind of the central nervous system of the computer. But when we first apply power to the computer, the CPU needs some way to know what parts it has to work with. Well, the CPU goes totally blank when we turn the computer off, so when we turn it on and we add power to it, it kind of needs some way to communicate with all the other parts of the computer and kind of what we call boot up, figure out where everything is, figure out how to talk to everything, figure out how to work as a computer. So it needs to know what parts it has, and then it needs to know how to communicate with those parts and get the work that it needs. And we're talking about things like the keyboard, displays, disk drives, all those things, memory, the CPU needs some way to kind of get started with those. Now let's take a look at a diagram here. So we apply power to the PC. So we flip the power switch, the power comes on, and if the CPU it was the first thing that started up, it would now have a problem. It would say, okay, I'm on, but I don't know what's connected to me. It just kind of woke up and here I am. It needs some instructions. It needs to know what is out there that it can communicate with and how to communicate with it. So what devices are out there? Where are they? And how do we communicate? The CPU can communicate with the RAM. Why? Because it doesn't even know it's there yet. It can't communicate with the hard drives. Same reason, it doesn't know they're there. Same for the expansion slots. So, what do we need to do to start our computer up? Well, BIOS comes to the rescue here. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output Services. And this is really a collection of little programs that are stored on a read-only chip on the motherboard. And this provides instructions to the CPU. Now, notice it's read-only meaning when we turn the computer off that it's going to hold its charge, it's going to hold the memory that it has, but that read-only part means that whatever program was burned onto that chip at the factory is what stays on there, okay? And so it has basic information about the computer. Now, by basic, we mean things that are built in or soldered on or attached to the motherboard. Now, keyboard drivers are usually attached to the motherboard, so it knows about the keyboard. But what about some other things? So when we boot it up, the actual ROM chip runs a program, and it provides that to the CPU. That wakes the CPU up. Now the CPU is running a little program off the ROM chip, and the ROM chip says, oh, by the way, you have some RAM out there that you can use. You have some hard disk that you can use, and you have some expansion slots. Here's their address and phone number, if you will. Call them up and they'll help you out and you guys can work together and you'll have a computer here. It is that straightforward, okay? So the first thing that happens when you turn your computer on is this little BIOS program kicks off on this ROM chip, this read-only memory chip that doesn't lose its program when the computer gets turned off. Uh, this is read by the CPU. It tells the CPU what's out there how to deal with them, and your computer comes up and starts working, all right? So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's the easy thing. Now, there's a little more to the story, and we'll talk about that when we talk about configuring the BIOS. So join me in a separate video called Configuring the BIOS, and we'll continue from here.